it's offensive for us to have anybody celebrate somebody who visited murder upon our people and incepted an experience that we are still enduring today. It's a commemoration or an anniversary of invasion and imperial expansion. It's a war zone in many places around, around Aotearoa. We have some of the highest suicide rates in the world for our people. We have poor housing. Our infant mortality rates are unacceptably high. Our incarceration rates are higher than anywhere else in the world. But all of those challenges stem back to the fact that we have had our self-determination stripped from us through a process of colonisation. And then we see dollars being rolled out for the celebration of the causes of all of those issues. It's deeply offensive and deeply hurtful. In the past, we haven't been that good at creating a space where Māori people and Pākehā people come together in a way that feels comfortable for both parties. People actually want an opportunity to share their story, that's the most common thing. So you'll see over these days that they've been arranged to ensure that everybody feels heard and everybody feels respected. The fact that Cook's story and the brutality of Cook's story has been suppressed for so long is, is really a symptom of this larger issue that New Zealand has as well, which is the idea that we are racially harmonious. We ourselves have bought into that and, and so we tend to have a, a strong sense of denial about our colonialism. So colonial racism is really the bedrock of racism in Aotearoa upon which all other forms of racism are built.